Hello all, I have some really devastating news. After my rainbow bubble tip split, I did something really stupid. And because of that, the new one moved and as you can see, it reaped havoc on two of my most prized corals. A number of heads of my zoanthids literally fell off and melted away. I'll explain how this happened and why I am to blame. After watching a few videos on how beneficial surface agitation is in your tank and the benefit of creating proper water flow, I decided I wanted to see if I could create better surface agitation and water flow in my tank by relocating one of my power heads. So I moved both power heads to the right side of my tank and changed my Hydro Wave Maker controller to simultaneously turn on the pumps every 5 seconds. I believe the change in water flow agitated my new anemone. It no longer liked how the water was flowing in its area and decided to move to a more convenient location. The next day is usually the day that I do my water change, so during my maintenance, I focused a power head on the anemone in hopes that it would release its foot. After about an hour, it finally got irritated and moved about three inches. It wasn't a big move, but I'm happy it's no longer on my zoanthids. Another step that I read to take was to agitate its foot with a piece of ice. Only problem I'm experiencing with this is its foot is literally tucked under my rock work. So I'm going to leave it alone for now and have placed my power heads back where they were in hopes that it just moved back. The dilemma that I'm now facing is whether I should remove it or keep it. If you were my shoes, what would you do? Let me know in the comments below. Other than the anemone moving, I made a few adjustments in the tank. I ended up placing my purple tip frog spawn a little bit higher due to it growing two additional heads. I also removed a number of branches from the Kenya tree that fell off and began to take root along the base of the tree. Lastly, I moved a rock that I propagated green star polyps on to the center of my tank. The rock was vertical and the polyps were located at the top instead of the bottom, so I hope that moving it will cause the polyps to completely take over the rock. I am unsure what I should do with the now empty spot. I might allow the red mushrooms just to take over the back of the tank, um, but we'll see. Though this was a pretty sad week for me, I grew in knowledge and experience. My takeaway is this, sometimes it's best to live by the adage, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But along those lines, if you do make a change in your tank, think about the ripple effect it will have on the inhabitants. Speaking of the inhabitants, I still have a few I need to get rid of. Stay tuned to see how that goes.